YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be demonstrating a mid high fade natural comb over haircut step by step. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button, hit the like button and comment down below anything that you guys might need help with. But let's get to the tutorial. The first thing that you guys want to do is just dampen the hair and make that natural parting from the corner of his hairline towards the back of his original cowlick depending on your client he might not have that same cowlick so just make sure you guys adjust accordingly to your client so you guys are able to organize your your work so you guys can set some nice crispy guidelines the very first step that we're going to take with setting our first guideline is we get our trimmer this trimmer is not zero gapped we want to aim for the temple and we're going to go from the temple of the head to the back of the occipital bone so I like setting my guidelines one side and then I go to the other side, do the same thing, and then I connect it in the back. And in the back right there, you guys can see the occipital bone is the bone in the back of the head that you guys can, it just protrudes from the head so you guys can really identify it and just make sure you guys hit that bone. Every client is gonna have a different size shaped head. So just make sure that you guys are adjusting accordingly to your client. So once you guys have that guideline set on one side of the head, you wanna replicate it on the other side as well. So for this video, I'm blending in layers. What that means is that I'm not going to erase that volume of hair that you guys see underneath the guideline because that serves as a guideline for the ball line. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our three guard and we're just gonna do the scooping method with my comb just to get rid of this bulk so we can get a nice canvas to set some crispy guidelines. So now that we have some clean organized room, we're gonna grab our one guard, open up the lever. You guys see my left hand, I have two fingers there. So this is a two finger guideline. The reason why I'm starting with the number one guard is because I just wanna make my life easier on the next step when I cut this guideline in half with the lever open. But also you guys wanna see below that zero line, I have about a finger of room that I left in between that bald, the baldness and the bulk of hair underneath. So it's gonna be super important that you guys have it organized this way because when we do the zero ball gu guideline transition, it's gonna help and it's gonna just keep our work organized and we're gonna be able to blend it with precision. And now open up the lever. We're gonna split the guideline and have to have two proportional guidelines now. So just a good tip is to go through your guideline multiple times until it is nice and consistent because consistent guidelines will give you a nice consistent fade and you guys will just have your work nice and organized so now that we have two separate guidelines this is how our work is supposed to look like you guys can see how nice and organized it looks and you guys can see the difference between the first second and the hair on top of that guideline and now for the next step we're going to grab our trimmer our soft trimmer that we used to create that first guideline and we're going to soften that beginning guideline to make our job easier to blend out on the next step so for the first step we're going to put our lever in the middle and we're going to do a method that i like calling the middle open closed so we're going to tack the guideline in the middle go from that ear to the temple of the head we're going to be working in zones so once this side is blended we go to the back of the head and we replicate it on the other side so i like going through it back and forth about maybe like three four times until that guideline is nice and softened then i like opening the lever a little bit I go a little bit higher into the fade and I keep rinsing and repeating this process until my lever is completely open and I'm hitting the full guideline. Once that's done, I then close the lever and I hit the beginning of the guideline and just keep repeating the process until my guideline is completely blended. Thank you. 
you guys should not move on to the next step until you guys have a nice clean transition right there that you guys see there you guys can see you guys don't see any dark spots below this guideline that we're recreating so in this step i attached my number one guard i opened up the lever this creates the one and a half and i'm just making another guideline because we already did that guideline but it just once you erase the one below that it might just make it a little bit smaller so just making it one finger thick is what i'm doing right here you guys can see so if you guys have to run through again and recreate your guideline so it's more consistent go ahead and do that so then our work can be organized and we can soften this guideline doing the closed to open lever method what this method is is that we're just close the lever we're going to hit the beginning of the guideline and we're going to go higher and higher as we keep opening the lever so this is going to soften this guideline and set us up for the next step This is probably the trickiest step in the blending process. So remember we set a one finger guideline. Now we have half of that finger to work with to do the closed to open lever method. But right here, you guys can see we, we don't really have a set guideline. We just have that just that smudge line right there. That line that was created between the half and the one and a half. And it's our job to just use our eyes and stay focused as we keep doing the close to open lever method. So now we're moving on to the next step, which is we're going to grab our two guard, open up the lever and create a one finger guideline. And you guys can see below that guideline that we're creating, everything is blended so we can go on to this step and go from layers from first, second and third guideline to the fourth guideline to then after removing that bulk below to get that nice transition. Once you guys get the hang of blending, you know, the first and the second guideline now you guys it's going to be easier to blend everything above that we're going to do the close to open lever method with the number two guard and after we're going to clean that up using the 1.5 guard so in this step it kind of just replicates the previous step where we use two guards to blend out one guideline so now what's left over is that harsh line right there that you guys can barely see let's attach our 1.5 guard let's close the lever and we're going to do the same thing that we did with the 0.5 guard on the previous step. So remember, this was a one finger guideline and we're using two guards to blend out the line. So essentially, we have about half of that finger to work with in this step. So every single time you guys go higher into the guideline, make sure you guys stay focused and you guys don't go that high and you guys are attacking dark spots in the guideline. Now what's left is that one finger of room between the last guideline and the natural part that we just set aside for the beginning of the tutorial to organize our work. What we're doing in this step is we grab our three guard and we're flicking out doing the close to open lever method. This is probably the most important part of the whole tutorial is getting rid of this bulk we left one finger of room in the beginning of the video so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to flip our trimmer upside down and be very careful in this step because your trimmer is a lot sharper in this position so just use a very soft touch go about i'd like to say about like a quarter of a finger go down 
then in that same spot grab your trimmer again flip it upside down and just baby tap that line you guys can't barely you guys can barely see it so just baby tap it to create a nice crispy transition from this to the pink trimmer that we use to create the guideline once you guys make that transition go ahead and go down with the grain the reason why i'm going down with the grain is because i want to leave some hair so i can see what i can bald out and what i don't want to bald out so to make things easier on our shaver what we're going to do is we're going to grab our trimmer and i'm putting my finger there to show you guys as it's like a guide to not go higher than that that's everything that we're hitting right now with the trimmer is what we're going to bald out so this just makes it easier on our shaver just so we can run through the step a lot more smoothly And now to get our client a nice crispy hairline, he wanted a lineup and you guys can see before even going into the lineup, he didn't really have much hair to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a lineup for him. So I'm just maybe going about half a finger, removing some hair from the front and just going down and creating a nice natural lineup. To start the scissor work on top, what we want to do is first we want to dampen the hair with some water, comb the hair through, and we're going to keep things very simple. So we're going to create one guideline going vertical from his, the from the corner of his hairline back to the cowlick. So that's going to be one guideline. Then after we set and we just chop this down evenly, you know, he wanted a, a good amount from the top. So I just used my, you know, just, just my barber knowledge, I guess you can say with what is going to look good. And the front of his hair was way longer. You guys can see there. We're going to match it now. So now we have a vertical and a horizontal guideline. So this is just a simple way of getting the top trimmed. You guys don't have to do no crazy sectioning. I just like to keep things as simple as possible. And I just run through the whole head doing that until everything is even. go ahead and run some of the hot air with my blow dryer i like starting off first with a little bit of hot air make sure you keep a distance and to style and to make everything just easier we want to go ahead and just blow some cold air to keep the hair in place followed by just using any product that you guys feel comfortable with using you guys can use gel you guys can use styling powder, whatever your client prefers. So I'm using some pomade by Pacinos and I just run through the pomade through through the tips of his hair. Then I go ahead and grab my comb. Some of the benefits that you get from styling hair at the end of your haircuts is you get to see any inconsistencies in the in the haircut. So that's why I went in with my babyless skeletons to get rid of some of the extra baby hairs that were sticking out of his hairline. This is the before. My client had a mullet, a V-cut. This is the after. 
I appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed the content, if you guys learned anything, let me know down below in the comment section. Also, give me some constructive criticism, guys. If you guys didn't like something about the video, if it was boring, or if I can improve the channel in any way for you guys, let me know down below too. Hit the like and subscribe to support the channel. And I'll see you guys the next week with another haircut tutorial. Peace.